Gaze up at the night sky and you'll find that the stars twinkle. Whereas most people find this to be beautiful, astronomers see a problem. But why? When light from a star reaches Earth, it passes through the turbulent atmosphere and gets distorted, making it become blurry, a phenomenon known as scintillation. It's like looking at a coin at the bottom of a pool. The turbulent water and changing mediums for the light make the resulting image blurry, like what happens to the stars. However, there is hope. Enter adaptive optics. When a star is too blurry to see correctly, telescope operators will fire a powerful laser into the sky, which excites a layer of sodium atoms high up in the atmosphere. These sodium atoms start giving off light, simulating stars in the sky, which is then picked up by a wavefront sensor in the telescope. The wavefront sensor measures the distortions and sends this information to a computer, which uses this data to create a wave opposite to that of the incoming light. It then shapes a deformable mirror in the form of this opposite wave to cancel out the distortions. This all happens in a few milliseconds, so any changes in the atmosphere are constantly being accounted for. Think about it like this. Glasses can correct human vision with the right prescription, just like how the sodium star calibrates adjustments for the telescope. Adaptive optics is essentially just glasses for a telescope. So, instead of this image, we get this. There's a major difference in what we can see. When Horace Babcock invented adaptive optics in 1953, he didn't have the technology of our time. But his breakthrough has allowed modern astronomers to see the stars. Thanks to adaptive optics, we can look at our universe in ways that we never could have even dreamed of in the past. It's only a matter of time before we unlock the next secret of our universe.